happy to be here. I'm Thank happy to be here. You're very welcome. This is very so much welcome. fun. So, uh, this... DJ is so cute. <laughs> and he has dimples. Like I know, he's adorable. Uh, uh, you guys are making me blush already. Uh, come on, yeah, come on. Yeah, when we squeeze you, we eat you. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Just with the so, right. yeah. So, um, okay, we're back for another edition of In The Mix Mondays with myself, Light Lively. Um, guest DJ again, Yak Radio Fam, um, Haitian Lover. Yes, sir. Um, holding it down. And special guest, Miss... Chantel Fraser is in the house. Bonjour. <laughs> Look, I'm very excited. Um, we've been trying to like link up, you know, yes, for the past have. couple weeks. So um, we have a lot to talk about. But since you know she's new to the show, I have to kind of um, initiate her. So what we're gonna do is, well, we usually do a recap of what we've done over the weekend or the week or whatever. So, Aisha, you want to set it off first? You want to start? What, what have you done? Well, you know, my week was very empowering. You understand? I was, empowering. You know, I'm always, always, you know, in the streets. I'm in the clubs. I'm in the, you know, I'm in the venues doing what I do as always. You know, working my nine to five also, hustling as we always do. So it was a pretty good week. You know, went to a couple events. Um, I went to a game night last night, which is really cool with a couple of friends. Shout out to the whole La Familia crew. Shout out to Lady Chase on the outside, also got it locked on. But you know, it was a good evening. You know, I had a lot of fun. We played some um, taboo. We played a little bit of um, flip cup. If you guys are familiar with flip cup, that's a great you know that's drinking the, game to play yeah, with get cool drunk. <laughs> You ever heard of flip cup? Yeah, well, tell them what cup. it is. Oh. Tell flip what cup, it is. Flip cup is a game that you play with a you know a, a, a large amount of people. It can be anywhere from. Are you six using to the up. same glass? No, 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 no. Let me explain the rules to you. How it works is that each person has a cup in front of them, uh -huh. and inside the cup is any Indian alcoholic water. beverage of your choice. All right. Mm. So what we're doing is that it's it's typically a relay race. You have to drink the liquor as fast as you can, okay. then place the cup at the edge of the table and try to flip it upside down. Okay, what if you don't flip? You, you gotta continue more. until oh you gosh. until you flip it. I'm and really? The I'm losers, drunk. Yet the losers of this relay race have to take a shot. Oh my gosh. Wow. So, <laughs> 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 wow. so, that it's a drinking game, you know, it's a great game to play with a group of friends. Yes, and of course, please, ladies and gentlemen, if you are playing drinking dreams, do not drive to whatever venue that you're playing it at, okay? Oh Make wow. Sure and this this is this is perfect for what I'm about to say, since we're talking about getting pulled over. Okay, go ahead. Go um <laughs> so I got pulled over on well yes was it? What's today? Today's on Monday. Okay, I got pulled over last week. Um, towards the what was it Friday Thursday Friday, so um, okay don't judge me but the cop pulls me over I'm on my way to work it's early in the morning okay. and I had lotion in one hand and I was trying to well I wasn't trying to put the lotion on while I was driving but I just had it in my hand so I was waiting to stop at a light or something so I could put, okay. the, put the lotion on <laughs> okay. phone, right so. He pulls me over and I'm like, um, hi, you know, can I ask why I'm getting pulled over? So he was like, well, you were doing a 46 and a 25. I'm like, oh, so mm -hmm. they just changed the, um, the speed limit lower, I guess on the local street. So it used to be 30 and I don't know why the five, five miles an hour is going to make that much of a difference. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So he asked me for my license, <laughs> right? So I have the lotion in my hand, and I'm like, um, okay, hold on one second. So I'm in the car, and I'm like, putting the lotion on while he's standing there waiting for me, <laughs> to, right? To, to, you know, pull out my driver's license. So he's looking at me like, really? So he's like, so let me ask you this. What were you planning to do with the lotion? I know, you know, he was like, um, you're driving and this and that. And he was like, you know, I work for in the medical field, so he saw my, my ID. So he starts kind of giving me a lecture. He's like, you know, I know you're used to multitasking and everything because you work, mm -hmm. you know, where you work, but it, you know how dangerous Driving it is. Driving is dangerous. <laughs> I guess. I you know, but I'm just, so, so I have to explain to him. I said, no, officer, I was planning to stop. You know, I was going to stop. I was going to drive and put the lotion. I was waiting to stop at the light. So he just looked at me with this look like, okay, this, this girl is out of her mind. 
So he kind of gave me a lecture and then he let me go. So I was like, thank God, because that would have been a speeding ticket. He probably fancied you. Yep. I mean, yeah. definitely. Absolutely. Come on. He Absolutely. let me. I was surprised. Please stop here. I was surprised. No, because he he looked a little annoyed. <laughs> he looked a little annoyed. But you know what? Shout out to all the snowflake police officers because this one was a snowflake. What I mean by this is a snowflake. I am referring to Caucasian people. All oh, right. That's my. Is this a lightism? Yes. Okay. It's a light. I like that. <laughs> it's a lightism. <laughs> so. um yeah, he, you know, because we, we talked about cops before, and everybody has this thing where they always feel like the police are bad and, you know, certain whatever. But he was, you know, very reasonable, and I thank him, thank him, thank him for letting me go. Yeah, so that was my um, situation, but, you know, no ticket. That's the most important part, no ticket. Yeah, help them free Absolutely. <laughs> so... Any way of getting out of the ticket is always great. Yeah, because I just knew I was getting a ticket. Mm. I was like, oh, mm. gosh. You know, rush hour, on the way to work, I was like, okay, I don't need to be late. But he let me go. So that was a good thing. Yes, sir. The city is congrats, congrats. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> More power congrats. to you. So, um, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to explain to Chantel what light usually does. Um, now... My other DJ, shout out to Greg Nice. Um, he likes to say I was angry, but it's not that I'm angry. I'm just kind of venting, and I like to. Like get angry some... generally, or just? To well, when I'm when I'm he, he 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 always used to refer to it as anger, but it's not really anger. It's just people do things that are very annoying. Yeah, I'm annoying. <laughs> so here we go with my set it off moment. Okay, set it off, baby girl. So um, I don't know, DJs. This is for you. This one's for you. Now. Haitian lover. Yes. You are a DJ. Yes, I am. So, I go to a function over the weekend, a baby shower. All right. So, the um, they had like three DJs, right? Now, you are at a baby shower. Mm -hmm. There are children running around everywhere, right? So, why are you playing music with all the profanity and all the daggering type, you know no. what I'm saying? I'm like, really, oh my God. really. I've 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 been to plenty of events, family oriented events such as baby showers, such as elderly <laughs> birthday parties, such like 50, 50 year olds, 60, 70, 80 year old birthday parties, and even anniversaries where I've heard certain DJs do not have or not equipped, I should say. For the event that oh. they're DJing at. But is it really the DJ's fault? Or who's like, what about people who are hosting the baby shower? Didn't like, if that was my well, baby yeah, shower, I would have been like, hold up. Mm -hmm. This is not my kind of party. Exactly. Don't make yeah. kids twerking. Mm -hmm. Right. No. But I'm, I'm, but I'm sitting there and, and here we go too. So now they're on, like, you know, um, they're just playing music for themselves. And I'm like, who are they trying to cater to right now? I'm like, it's a baby shower. So they all on the stage, like in the booth, and they like rocking back and forth. You know, when the, when the DJs, they yeah. start, you know, they're like bopping and they like sway yeah. back and forth. And I'm watching them like, seriously, right now, like, who are you playing for? Yep, they're playing for themselves. For themselves. Like, you yeah. cannot go to a baby shower and start playing all the, um, what's that, like sit down, Sit down one and 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 like uh bedroom yeah. bully and yeah. uh like you can't you can't do that. That's not a good look. So I'm just like uh Yes. No. And then okay. Do they have their kids doing all sorts of questionable dance moves? No, well? thank God, thank God. It was first of all that that's my set off when people I see people posting their you know, photo their videos on Facebook of their mm -hmm. kids doing like you know twerk moves and all sorts of stuff. Inappropriate dancing. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, why are your kids and then you, winding down? <laughs> exactly. That's not cute. And then you wonder why they get pregnant, exactly. like when they're like 14, <laughs> 13, 14. And then the other thing, um, HL, I mean, isn't it like customary for DJs to have a microphone that's portable? Um, it is sometimes. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. It is sometimes, depending on the event. Depending on the event you're doing, it is, it is um, as far as baby showers and weddings, it is appropriate for you to have a wireless microphone for the simple fact that during a baby shower, you have hosts who will go around the room, 
you know, introducing games and um, they might be doing the um, opening up the gifts, <laughs> you know what I mean? So having a wireless microphone is always, you know, a better look for these events and weddings also, again, because you have the speeches from the best man, you know, and family yeah. and friends. And, okay, so you know? that's not what happened here. So <laughs> what happened here is he has the microphone that, I don't know, it was attached to like the, the laptop or something, so you can't even move. Oh. So now they're trying to play games and everybody has to keep running up to the to the DJ. Oh well, time for the games now and this that and the other and they making announcements. Everybody got to run up to the. I was just like, you know what? I can't. I can't deal. But you know it's funny. You, you get what you pay for. Yeah, I can say this. I, yeah. a little bit low budget. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. you definitely get what you saw. Yeah. With that being said, anyone's listening right now, you get a very good deal. <laughs> Feel free to contact me, your truly on saying. Facebook, Instagram. Um, you can just Google me. You can Google me and I'll pop up right away. Exactly. But I just didn't get it. So, you know, we're sitting there. We're, sit, we're sitting there, like, just clowning the whole baby shower. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even know these people personally. I just went with, you know, people. But I was just like, never. I was like, God forbid. I, I, I just didn't get it. Yeah, that sounds really shameful. So yes. I just had to say that since, you know, I think you really Yeah, it, it was very traumatizing. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't get it. One other thing, one other thing I want to set it off about. Maybe you can relate to this. Now, I know um, Ms. Chantel, she's into her health and everything. So I go to the um, pizza shop. I, you know, I was just picking up something small, no, nothing big. But when people are preparing your food yes. and they're not wearing gloves mm. <laughs> and it's like, um, you know, they... They, they have the scooper thing to put the food on the plate, but why do you have to touch it to to make sure it's on the plate? And I'm looking at dude's hands, and I'm like, um, uh, excuse me, <laughs> um, are you gonna put on gloves? Are you, like, yeah. what are you doing? That, yeah, that grosses, I get really grossed out by things like that. And especially when you go to the deli in the morning, and they've got that rag, you know, the rag mm. that they wipe down with, and it's just seething with bacteria. And it's just like, it's like, you know, creating new colonies, like right. bacteria oh. colonies on it. They're just like that's wiping everything down, and like putting your little food on top <laughs> of the grill. And Absolutely. It's like, yeah. That's disgusting. Really tame. Ooh. And I can just, just smell the rag. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, God. These rags can't be tame. <laughs> That's really disgusting. So, yeah, I have a problem with that. So, you know, there used to be a show a long time ago called Boiling Point. Mm. Did you ever hear that show? Yes, I, I love that show. I used to watch that show. I wouldn't survive, like, 30 seconds on that show. But basically, I don't know if you... you no, but I, can, I can imagine the concept. We have to be yes. similar in England. They, exactly. Yeah, they um, would just do things on purpose to see how long it would take the person to, like, break. So um, they didn't film this in New York. I, I, that somebody probably would have got shot in New York. They, they, they did. did they? they? They did, they did they did shows similar to it in um in New York. I feel as they did in other cities. But they can do it in New York. I've seen a lot of people do some things like this, but so uh, people would reaction. so the host would inflict these terrible right things on right right. Exactly. <laughs> to they see, have, exactly. They to, would have certain contestants that would try to inflict right. These. And if you uh, made it past like say five minutes, they would you would win money. <laughs> they would give you money. Okay. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't think that mm -mm, that would be a we good idea. We used to have a show in England called um, I Do Anything to Be on TV. Okay. So you would have to go on there and, submit, and the host would be like, okay, so you'll do anything to be on TV? Like anything? Mm. So they used to make them do the grossest things, like they get an old lady to take out her false teeth. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then the guy, the contestant, would have to like put the false teeth in. It was like, I guess they were like dirty people oh, who wow. didn't mind doing like nasty things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's disgusting. Yeah. It's just, they basically want to see how much can you tolerate. Yeah, but some people just can tolerate like a lot. <laughs> um, I don't think I have a low threshold for that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm with you on that one. I'm with you on that one. Sorry to me turn my phone off. But um, definitely, that's pretty much all I wanted to set it off about. Do you, I'm gonna extend the invitation to Chantel. I feel like I've been like setting things off in between your sessions. Okay, she's been yeah. setting it off with me, yeah. but if you have your own, I've got this whole time. one thing that I have to set off about. Really. Go ahead. When people text you, like that you have never texted you before, mm -hmm. right, on your iPhone, and then they just send you a message and you don't know who it is. They don't write who it is, mm -hmm. or they just put their first name and it's like a name like, Jenny or Paul, some generic name, 
And then it's kind of embarrassing because you want to respond, but you don't know who it is. Yes. And like, they expect you to have the, your number in their phone, in your phone. Exactly. But you don't have their number, so then you have to kind of like, like, oh, I, I lost my phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? I've it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> While we're on that, um, that was a good one. Is is there anything now? The blood, sweat, and heels um, show. We're gonna get into that. Is there anything about um, what you've experienced so far that you want to set it off about? Um. Yes, <laughs> I wish I'd worn. I. I wish I'd worn better underwear when I jumped into that pool. I didn't expect to. My grandma always said, make sure you wear good underwear all the time. Yeah. But I never expected in a million years I'd be jump, taking my clothes off and jumping into a pool. And I watched the trailer and I was like, oh my God, I'm not even wearing my, like, my, the, you know, my underwear is kind of like, you know when it's not properly white, like the, it's like a bit off white. It's a bit off white. <laughs> <laughs> I have to watch the trailer. Wait, I have to watch the trailer again because I, I saw. So I was like, I gotta oh, see God. this. The trailer's on my page, on the Light Lively Facebook page. If anybody wants to see the trailer, but I, I have to watch it again because I really didn't notice. I just saw you jumping. Those are my best Sorry. Sorry. Okay. No, we no over here. Over here, you gotta be honest. We give you one hundred over here. Yeah. All the don't, time. don't worry. It's it's okay. We're very laid back here, so we definitely want to get into it. Um, you know, so that wraps up our little set it off moment. Everybody's good. Nothing, nothing you need to get off your chest. No. HL, you good? Okay. I'm, I'm good so far. So we good. All right. So that was that. Okay. So now, <laughs> like I said in the beginning, we have a special guest, Miss Chantel Fraser uh, from Blood Sweat and Heels, and. If you want to call in in a few minutes, um, the phone number is 877-760-1422. When we come back, we're going to just, you know, find out a little bit more about her. She's a new cast member. And, um, you know, we'll talk about the show and what's going on. We can't reveal too much because, well, the new season starts next Sunday. Mm-hmm. But... What we like to do now, I know that you have um, Jamaican background. Yeah, my family's they're all Jamaican. Okay. So, so. <laughs> well, you well, are well, in the well, perfect place. Well, so, with that being said, Aisha, you already know what I'm going to ask. You want to hear some birthday dance? Of course. Oh, yes. Oh, right on. Yeah. So, <laughs> in honor of, I mean, you know, but that's my that's my type. Everybody that's my has, favorite music. I love dance hall. See? Yeah. Okay. It's my favorite. So everybody in here is pretty much some sort of West Indian or Caribbean. I like the naughty stuff too. So. Oh, she said the naughty stuff. Bit baby shower, no baby shower here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my is going to be setting it off next week about me. <laughs> no, I mean, actually, not at all, not at all, not I don't know. We'll be dancing. We'll be dancing in, in, in for the next break. So he, he's about to put on some music for us, and when we come back, we'll learn some more about you and the show and your role. All right, exciting. 